So today I want to talk about flashlights for EMP in solar storms. Most of the flashlights that people buy and own now, they have circuit boards in them, integrated circuits, they have chips, they have LED instead of bulbs, and these will not function in an EMP environment. So everybody needs a conventional old-fashioned flashlight. This is an example. This flashlight has no electronics in it. As far as solid state chips, it does not use an LED bulb. These kind of lights were used and tested during the, the atmospheric nuclear test to see if they would work in an EMP environment, and they will. So let's take a look at this. So I've taken the lens cover off, and you can see this has a conventional bulb. It doesn't use an LED bulb. Now you can get LED bulbs for these if you want to use one and keep your regular bulbs as a backup for EMP and solar storm. This way you don't have any issues with the LED being burnt out by EMP effects. So when we disassemble our flashlight, we see the end cap is only composed of conductive wire. So when we look down inside this flashlight, all we have is copper strip that runs to the bulb. So to make our electrical connection, we have conductive wire and we have copper strip. There's no microelectronics, there's no circuit boards, there's no chip in this flashlight. It's EMP resistant. Everybody needs one of these for the conditions that we will face. Please comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.